Hello and welcome. There's an experiment that I've been wanting to try for a while, and that is to drive around in my 2013 Nissan Leaf to uh, go from 100% charge down to as close to zero as I dare to see what the real world range is just in, in city driving, not on the freeway, because that's a big difference. So here I am sitting in my Nissan Leaf, and um, you can see here that I have the car charged up to 100%. Uh, you'll notice that I've set the tripometer here to zero. This car has 67,034 miles on it. Now, something to notice over here as well is that it says it has an estimated 48 miles of range. Currently, that's what the car is estimating. And then over here, you can see this. these bars show the actual state of charge, these wide ones. And then these smaller ones on the side show the overall battery capacity. And so these bars on the side used to go up here all the way to the top, matching the battery state charge. But we've lost five bars of capacity on this car over the course of 67,000 miles. And so it has much diminished range from when it was new. This right here, uh, the, the, it would claim, uh, I think it was 84 or 85 miles uh, when it was brand new. And so it's, it's about half that or thereabouts. And so I wanted to drive around and actually see uh, how well this performs. So let's get started. trying to drive average and I'm not driving uber conservative but I'm also not you know fully accelerating uh, you know off of every stop so just keep that in mind as well uh, I don't have the HVAC system on at all uh, the heating or cooling is not on so that is not going to be a factor and the windows are rolled up something else to take note of is I'm driving through a variety of terrain uh, some of it is here on the side of the mountain and on the alpine area and some of it's pretty flat so I'm trying to emulate that as much as I can you know that you know, if you're in a hilly area of the world that it'll still uh, be roughly what these results are if you notice in the time lapse hopefully it's not going by too quickly but you'll notice that there are definitely times when there is a, a bit of the regen braking happening and obviously that's happening down the long hills but also uh, whenever I come to an intersection and need to come to a stop uh, I try to use my brakes as little as possible uh, so I'm trying to take advantage of that regen braking as much as it's uh, going to work for me. The V that shows up down there in the bottom left of the screen that is showing that the regen braking is turned on. All right, we are now at 50% battery, and that's 22.6 miles so far. Right now I'm on the commuter lane of the Alpine Highway, and so I'm going the fastest that I will go on this trip at uh, 60 miles per hour. Plus this time in the commuter lane is only going to be for a very short distance for me to get over to a different side road. We are now 25% down on the battery, and you can see the car is estimating 12 miles remaining, and we have gone 37 miles when it was 35% on the battery, the notice came up saying low battery and, and this uh, traditional uh, gas plug <laughs> light came on. And uh, there's also a notice on this part of the dashboard up here. Here's some surprising results so far. We're at 14% battery and we've already gone almost 46 miles. Something else that is worth mentioning is the ambient temperature outside right now is 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Likely the reason why we have actually gone farther than it had estimated is because we haven't gone on the freeway at all. Uh, the highest, the fastest we have gone is 60 miles per hour. We got on the freeway, we're going, you know, 75. I found that getting there, it just, the battery plummets really fast. Comment down below if you'd like me to do that, do a range test, but on the freeway and see how far it'll go when we're going like 75 miles per hour. Another reason I just thought of why it's probably doing uh, better is because I don't have the HVAC system on at all. Uh, if it's really cold or really hot and you know, you're using more of that, then potentially that would cause additional battery drain, of course. The battery has now gotten down to below 5% and it just stops trying to estimate how much farther you can go. So I'm going to head back to the house now. All right, we are back home. I have parked in my garage and you can see it's still showing pretty much zero everywhere. And so I'm going to now plug the car in and we'll get it charged back up to 100% and see how much energy goes into the battery. Also worth noting is it is currently uh, one o'clock and I started this about two hours ago. The car is done charging. It was charging for two hours and 50 minutes. The total amount of energy that went into the battery was 13.2 kilowatt hours. When this car was brand new, it had a 24 kilowatt hour battery. This graph shows the amount of amperage being put into the battery pack, and so you can see it drops off as the battery gets fuller here and then just tops off the battery. 
this graph down here shows the battery's charge percentage as it ramps up and then you can see how it slows down quite a bit when it gets to around 60 or 70 percent. And you'll notice that over here on the side it is now uh, having an estimated range of 59 miles where it was 45 before. And so that's, uh, I believe, just because the battery pack wasn't balanced really that well before. It had been sitting around a lot, not being utilized, and I had not been running the battery down to empty. And so we ran it all the way down, and while I was driving that way, it was, uh, I was noticing that the battery was depleting more slowly when it was low in the charge, and that's because it was getting balanced. I hope this has been helpful for you to give you an idea of what a 7-year-old Nissan LEAF can do. This one having 67,090 miles on it, and we went a total of 55.3 miles. Needless to say, the battery technology in the LEAF is far inferior to what is in my 2015 Tesla Model S, which currently has 95,000 miles on it and only has 6% battery degradation.